Hey everybody, this is just a quick tutorial on the mixer routing in Reaper, also known as the sends and inserts tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a virtual instrument on new track. I'm going to use the free Tal Noisemaker plugin, which is very awesome. Alright, so that is our sound source. Even though it's sitting in the effects slot it's actually an instrument so it's not an insert effect but if you notice if you mouse over this it says track insert effects so what we want to use this for is something like an EQ a compression something that's going to affect the dynamics of the track or the volume um, are the best option for inserts some effects go here but mostly dynamic so let's go ahead and let's add an EQ and the built-in re-EQ is very good so we'll use that and then you can see that this is now applied to the sound so I don't know if you can hear that or not my um, microphone is only set up to record my voice there's no you won't be getting any audio uh, from the actual track here but basically what you see is a hundred percent of the wet signal of this plugin is going to this plugin to this effect so you've got 100% of the sound going here. This differs from a send. Let's create a new track and call it effects because you're sending part of the dry signal to another track so that something else is happening to that signal. So this is easy to do because you're sending from this track over to this track. All you have to do is click here, drag it over here and let go and then you can see we've already got signal here and here and this knob controls how much so um, you probably want to keep it at zero but obviously you can control the amount what this is good for are things like uh, reverb delay other effects that you want to apply to some of the signal but you don't want to have the entire signal just be reverb you want to have the original signal with some reverb applied to it so you're going to insert an, an insert effect on the send track so let's look for reverb the Tal reverb plugin is very good so I'm gonna load this up I'm gonna take away all of the dry signal because I only want wet and you should be able to hear that's pretty good let me turn it up a little bit and then that allows you to control the amount here like say I want less or more I can control it independently of course there's also this slider here so you've got even more control but um, that's the basic difference between the inserts and the sends and uh, if you want to look at even more routing options click on this little uh, branch icon you can see exactly where we're sending data and receiving data um, right now we're sending audio and MIDI let's say I don't want to send any MIDI I don't want the MIDI to go here I only want the audio to go here but let's say I wanted to add another track and just call it MIDI let's say I want to send MIDI to this noisemaker track well click and drag here but you'll notice um, I don't want to send any audio so let's choose none and maybe I only want to send MIDI channel 1 or maybe I want to send all MIDI channels from this track but I only want to have it to go to MIDI channel 1 on this track um, for plugins that take multiple MIDI channel input this is really helpful because you can arm this track and have it accept all MIDI input that you're sending it but only send it to channel 1 of this track conversely I can just take one MIDI channel channel 1 that I'm sending here and send it to all MIDI channels on this track so it's very flexible but just to show you that this works the MIDI data is coming in here and it's also getting sent over there so um, I hope that that helps uh, with some of uh, the, the routing in Reaper it's very complicated um, it doesn't have to be complicated but it can be um, you can also change whether you're sending this to the master track you can uh, if your plugin has multiple outputs you can change the number of tracks 
uh, to, to up to 64. Um, there are just a lot of options here. So um, have fun and um, say for instance, you know, I didn't want to send it here and I wanted a new hardware output. I could send it to a different hardware output and maybe have a, a headphone mix or something like that. Um, there is tons of uh, info in the Reaper user guide, which I would definitely uh, definitely do. Go download the user guide online. Um, it's, it's huge, but there's a wealth of knowledge, so I definitely encourage you to check it out. And uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. Peace.